Hello, this is Scott from Optics Realm. This is a supplementary ZMAX tutorial. Uh, I think I'm calling it 3A, ZMAX 3A, talking about lens edge thickness. Um, my company's had me create some online training for, uh, for optics, and one of the questions I had was calculating and manipulating lens edge thickness, and I realized I didn't fully discuss that in uh, my videos, so I thought I'd record this quick video to show you how to do it. In this case, what I'm going to do is have a single lens, um, a 10 millimeter biconvex lens that's 2 millimeters thick, made of BK7, and we'll just call it uh, F5. Yeah, it's F5. And oh, let's lay it out. I forgot to put a marginal ray solve. So here's the lens, and we can calculate the edge thickness by looking at the, uh, the, the lens layout, or we can use the merit function, ETVA, update it, it's saying it's 1.906 millimeters. Let's put an aperture on it, let's make the lens 10 millimeters in diameter, or 5 millimeter semi-aperture, and you'll see that it, uh, it has some edge thickness here. We can update it and see that it's 6.617. But there's an error here. We have no aperture specified on the back of the lens, so this has a concave element and then a, an annulus, which it's difficult to make a lens. You never make a lens like this. So let's put it, the same aperture on the back of the lens, call it 5, um, five millimeter semi-diameter, control end, and you can see we have a negative edge thickness here, which I give warning about in ZMAX 3. Let's double click. You can see the edge thickness is roughly negative 0.7 millimeters. And that's reflected here. This is a, you physically cannot make this lens, but ZMAX is perfectly fine modeling this. What if we want to give it a specific edge thickness? I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. The first one is an edge solve. So we're going to modify the lens center thickness to give us a specific edge thickness. So double click on that, this box, this two millimeters, and say edge thickness. We're going to keep the radial height zero, which is going to default, I believe, to the, the, the aperture of this lens. And we're going to say, let's just give it a millimeter and a half edge thickness. You can see there's an E for an edge thickness solve. It's making the lens four point one eight millimeters thick. Lo and behold, it's one and a half. And just to double check in the merit function editor, one point five. I'm going to hit F three and undo that. We're going to go back to this two millimeter thick. Another way we could do it is hit Control Z, make this thickness a variable. Put a target in here of one point five. Don't forget we have to have a weight of one. Control Shift O to optimize. One target, one variable. Initial merit function drives it to zero and gives us the same thickness. Thanks a lot. Short and sweet uh, lens edge thickness. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in.